All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahushah. By Hashem Rakak I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in this word, maturity. Okay? And uh, the definition from the Merriam Webster is. Um, the quality or state of being mature, especially for development. The maturity of grain, maturity of judgment, lacks the wisdom and maturity needed to run the company. Okay. Now, continuing on, the etymology for the word mature. Okay. Ripe, also careful, well considered. Ripe, timely, or early. Okay? Encourage, separation, bring to maturity, to ripen, bring to maturity. Ripe, timely, early, good, and main, early of the of the morning. A uh, good, occurring at a good moment. <coughs> timely, seasonable, early. Okay? So, um... The words timely, okay, well considered, wisdom, these are all things that, um, or even right, okay, these are all good words, okay, to apply to yourself, okay, when in this truth, okay, um, it's the right, the word right, developed to the point of readiness for harvesting and eating, okay. So, um, this, uh, knowledge, man, okay, you can, uh, refer to it as, uh, fruit, you know, and, um, some fruit isn't, uh, ready to just be, uh, ate, especially when it's coming from the mouth of a, a babe. Okay, some fruit really isn't um ripe, you know, and um it takes time and this truth to to understand you know when to say things and you know when not to say stuff, okay, as that it comes with that maturity, okay that that time you know, and the elders, okay, the apostles was going in on the word um um elder okay and what it takes to, to really be an uh, elder okay so i wanted to get some scriptures on maturity okay this is uh first corinthians 14 and 20 brethren be not children and understanding how be it and mileage be ye children but in understanding be men Okay, and this the this is the uh, key, man. Because in this truth, we're trying to we're trying to um, tell brothers, okay, to stop um, acting like little children, okay. And you get those ways from uh, Esau, because the scriptures in Isaiah three and uh, twelve, you know, it talks about uh, children are their oppressors, okay. So a lot of the the things that people the ways that people get comes from the society known as America uh, pushing that. Okay? And when you go into um, children, like let's say a baby, you got to understand that a baby really doesn't in know anything. When they're first born, a baby doesn't know anything. Okay? And they're learning things. That's why the scriptures talk about when you come into this truth, you have to be like a child, a babe. You have to learn everything that you that you thought that you knew all over again, okay? And um, it takes time to, to, to get, you know, this understanding, you know, to be a man. It takes time. You ain't just going to know how to be a man as soon as you come into this truth, man. You could be, you know, 60 years old coming into this truth. You could be thinking like a little child, man, your whole entire life, okay? 
your body might have might have um matured but your your mind didn't mature okay your spirit but the 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 point is that in this truth in the spirit man you know you got to be mature okay when you go through stuff you got to understand how to deal with that cuz you going you going you going to um get that um get tried you're going to get tempted okay and then in that temp some of that temptation may come from a from a uh a, uh a, another brother not doing what the heck they supposed to do you know may come from your woman okay and, and one thing that um people like to do is go on the internet okay and post all their uh business man Okay, it's good for a man to be uh, discreet. Okay, um, have a sound mind, sane. Okay, and one senses, curbing one's desires and impulses, self-controlled, temperate. Okay, was that that goes into um, in Second Peter, man, being temperate. Um, uh, 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 let's say you're out at camp and the Edomite walks up, you know, he know how to get you out the spirit. You know, that's because you, you're a little, you're a little immature, man. You know? So, certain brothers got different things that tick them off, you know? But, um, the scriptures go into, uh, about, um, a man who, um, is uh slow to wrath is uh has, has a lot of understanding man okay um wanted to try to get that proverbs 14 and uh 29 he that is slow to wrath is of great understanding but he that is hasty of spirit exalts folly okay so the the moment that something happens a brother doesn't do something to you or either might does something to you or whatever you know it boils down to um whether you have understanding of what's going on or whether you 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 just quick to, to hop on something man because you um you have you have you, you you're a fool okay this is um Isaiah eleven and three, and shall so make of him make him of quick understanding. And this, didn't that scripture just say great understanding? In the fear of the Lord, and that that's one of the things, okay, that is very important and it's truth, because you fear the Lord. Yahweh sent you outside, okay. Every action don't need a reaction, man. Sometimes you got to sit back and you got to wait that time, you know, to, to you know, with the, the, the scriptures talk about timely, being patient, okay? It might not be up to you to, to, to bring out a point, man. Okay, every point. Sometimes you got to sit back and you got to let things uh, be, okay? It says, and, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, so... One thing that, you know, us, when you first come into this truth, you know, the things that you may see, you know, might not be what, what it is, man. Okay, you might be seeing one thing, but it's a whole total different thing, man. You know? Neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. And if your outside did these things, you know, just reprove that to what he saw, okay, or, or reproved. Or, or, or judge that to what he saw and reprove that this is, you know, that wouldn't be, it, we'd be in the same predicament that we're in right now. That's what um Esau does, you know. But Yahweh Shai, when he, when he comes, he's going to, he's going to judge righteously. Okay? Some Sometimes, um, that, that judgment comes right then and there, you know, depending on the time. But, the reason, one of the reasons why I wanted to go in on this video was because, you know, it's a lot of, um, 
hasty spirits out here that that don't you know understand um the folly you know or the the way that this this truth um how this truth works man okay they want things to be done on their time okay rather than be impatient okay this is first corinthians 13 and 11 when i was a child i speak as a child i understood as a child i thought as a child okay and that could be taken in the world and it could be taken in this truth okay because what 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 the apostle tahar say if you um you know a person that been in this thing for eight years you still basically a child man okay you know we still didn't really go through much of anything okay you still got to learn that judgment don't be quick to to grow up you know have that fear of the lord and if it's meant for you to 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 um be on some type of level the lord is going to exalt you rather than you trying to exalt yourself let the lord exalt you and sometimes that that takes time man okay but when i became a man i put away childish things and that's the way that's the thing that we supposed to be working on putting away childish things so that we can grow in this word okay so so a man okay a mature man Okay, a well-considered man that that considers, you know, this truth and fears the Lord. When the Apostle Tar said that, you know, three videos a day, you're supposed to be in that type of spirit. You gonna understand why? One of the reasons why is because so you can be mature, be being through this 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 truth. Okay, because there's a lot of childish things that are gonna try to get you off this path. Okay. Ephesians 5 and 15. See, see then that you work walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So if you see a brother go off, you know, you're going to be quick to go rebuke him. No, you go to that brother and him alone, okay, as the scriptures say. You don't just throw, throw his business out there or, you know, your woman go off, you just throw your business out there. You know, go straight to, in, to, to to the internet or go to a family member. You know, sometimes you gotta keep that stuff between you and you and that person, man. Okay, use that that sound judgment. Okay, he says wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. So if if a brother go off, if somebody go off, you don't, you ain't supposed to just fly off the the the, the trigger on them. Okay. Because hey, that's some some of that's a lot of most of it, everything is is the Lord's will. You know? And we just, you know, it's not our soul. We just we say, you know, what the Lord put the spirit on us to say when that time is, is for us for it for it to be said. But sometimes you got people that, you know, want to throw in their two cents and always say shit, you know, rather than actually examining the matter. Okay, this is uh, Hebrews 6 and 1. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Yahweh Shah, okay, because these are the things that you're supposed to be speaking about, man. It says, let us go on, on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works. So, a brother go off, you know, or, or somebody go off and you just, uh, you know, thinking that you're doing a good thing, okay, you thinking that you you doing a good thing, but your works that you you doing really ain't 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 good works. It's not live, okay? You doing you doing uh your works is are dead, okay? It's not showing of of faith, okay? To actually be patient and letting the Lord um handle things, okay? See, our job, okay, is is to uh you know reprove, okay? Rebuke, as the scriptures say. With, with all long suffering but um is it is the scripture say let everything be done decently in order okay we just teach the word man the ones that's meant to get it is going to get it if if somebody goes off okay and they they had this truth before and they just went off back into the world of course we you know we try to um tell them to come back in now if they did some straight up nigga shit you know 
then then yeah, sometimes that stuff de do need to be brought out. But you know that there's a lot of uh, soap opera Israelites out here. They just want the um the 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 immaturity of uh or on their behalf, they just want the immaturity, the um amusement, okay? But we're not about that, okay? We're about things that lead on to righteousness. It says, "End of faith on toward Yahweh Bashem Yahshah," okay? And this is the this is the, the the point, you know that that um we we get people to to go on to being perfection or p perfected, okay? It says of doctrines of baptisms, you know how to wash, you know, cleanse your, the 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 um the 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 immaturity, okay? For example, being immature, wash away those those childish things, putting away those childish things, and being um um hands on in its truth. It says, and of land of on of, of hands, and of resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. Okay? And these are things that we're supposed to be speaking about. Okay? Now we know that two thirds of, of Israel are gonna um are going to be destroyed. Two thirds of Israel are going to be destroyed, as the scriptures say. Okay, a lot of nigger women are going to be destroyed. Okay, these are the these are the things that um we know. Okay, but even with with all that, you can only go by so far, man. You know, learn how to go into to, to to other things, man. You know, and I'm just saying this through the spirit. There's other stuff out here to talk about. This this Bible is is um too vast to 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 just be continuing to hear the same message every day, okay? Just like how these these Christian um um churches, you know, they always say the same message. You got some some Israelites that always want to say the same message every time, okay? These are uh, things that you should. You know we could be be speaking about man okay um it says and this will we do if y'all by some y'all side permits okay for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the holy ghost and have tasted the good word of god and the powers of the world to come if they shall fall fall away to renew them again to repentance Seeing they crucified to themselves the son of Yahweh afresh and put him to an open shame. So you got a lot of people out here that are putting, you know, the Lord to an open shame, okay? And 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 the scriptures talk about that, you know? You, the, the scriptures talk about, you know, at the end of the day, some, certain people will fall from, from uh, the faith, you know, depart and having you know, doctrines of devils and stuff like that. Now, our point is we know the, the, the scriptures, so we bring out what the Bible says, okay? We know the scriptures, so we, we say what the scriptures say, okay? We got the doctrine, we bring out the doctrine, and we, we reprove, you know, um, all, you know, by teaching his word and everything, man, going out and teaching his word to those who can receive it, who it's meant for. This is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 22. Flee also youthful lust, but follow right, you know, youthful lust of the immaturity, man. But follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. And these are, you know, we worried about the elect, man. Okay? That's all we, we, we're worried about at Great Millstone. We're worried about the elect. Okay, that's what our focus is on. Okay, the ones that's calling on the Lord out of a pure heart. Everybody ain't calling on the, on the Lord out of a pure heart, man. Okay, the scriptures go on to that. Okay, this is uh First Tim Corinthians two and two. For I determined not to know anything among you save Yahweh Shah and Him crucified. Cause you got a lot of people, you know, that been in the world. They come into this truth, you know, and they want to speak about everything else except for this truth. And the things that you know that that equate to um, pro profitable doctrine, man. Okay. Um, 
And like I said, we we focused on the ones that call on the Lord out of a pure heart, man. Okay, it's just uh, Proverbs 9 and 9. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. Okay? And that's who we care about, man. Okay? It's not for everybody. Okay? This truth ain't for everybody. Okay? And we understand that. We're going to get mad because our mother, you know, not going to wake up. No, we understand because the what the scriptures say about that, man, you know, it's for the men anyway, you know. So with that, man, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say shalom until next time.